My name is Sepur Seyedian. I am a PhD student at Middle East Technical University in the field of civil engineering. I have a couple of things to do in this project. One is I'm a drone pilot and photogrammetry technician. I am responsible to taking all the photos, videos for advertisement. And, and I'm also responsible for analyzing and creating the 3, 3D models. For taking the photographs of the, uh, outside of the caravanserai, I have to visit the caravanserai and I will go and walk around the caravanserai and see if there are trees, cables or bird nests next to the caravanserai uh, because that might cause some difficulties and put the drone and myself in the danger. Then I fly the drone and take a rough shot of caravanserais just circles 360 degrees around the carbon right, from outside. For interior, it depends on the interior. In some of the carbon right, I'm able to, to fly the drone. And in those areas, I use the panorama method. I put some points and then take the panorama of those areas, then use those photographs in the photogrammetry. If it's windy, I have to wait. If there are birds, again, I have to wait. But if there are big trees or cables, I need some help from my teammates. Because when I'm piloting the drone, some, one of my friends should look at the drone and give me reports if I'm close to trees, I'm close to cables. And with some cautions, I, I might be able to get a bit close to the cables. And with some cautions, avoid crashing. In the areas that I'm not able to fly the drone, we have to use tripods or monopods, or even our with hand without any tripod. We take the photograph of the wall from different angles. You should imagine that you are looking at one 3D object and you want to create it. So you have to have a different photographs from different angles and it should be repeated to all the areas from interior or exterior and one important thing is that all the photos should at, have at least 50% of overlap to make me able to create a 3D model in the software. So it means that we we, we are dealing with a really large number of photographs with huge size. For creating the model, I have to import all of my photos into the software and start to alignment. It will take some time. And after that, I have to check the result to eliminate some extra parts. Then start to meshing. Meshing, it's like you have a wall, you take a picture. For each object, you create dots. For meshing, you connect these dots for creating that virtual 3D things. If you are want to your object to be very high quality and precise, you have lots of meshes. But again, you have a big size. It's difficult to be, deal with that big size. If you want to reduce the size, you have to decrease the number of meshes. So at the end, you are working with some optimization to find the optimum amount of mesh that gives you a good result and at the end the size of your result is not that big. One of the difficulties is that the photographs might not align with each other. That means we have to go again to the field and take extra photos. Another big issue is the cap capability of the computer. We need a very strong computer because for one building we we are dealing with at least 5,000, 6,000 photographs with high quality. Even with the strongest computer, it might take one day. And at the day, you might see that, okay, it's, the result is not good. And you have to redo it again or add some extra photos or eliminate some photos, eliminate some parts. So at the first trip, we just saw the general idea and what we need to add to have a final good medal. At the second trip, we were more precise, each corner to take every photograph to make a perfect model. 
this is cultural heritage in the future for many reasons we could lose these buildings for war earthquake or just passing time they are, they are the, these buildings are deteriorating it's a nature of all buildings but with this method we might keep the record of these buildings in our cultural memory